all right so welcome to this video tutorial and today um i want us to to um learn how to get data from the user so a lot of times you realize you are working on a project or yeah on something and you want to get input from the user for instance you want to know what his age is or you want to know um something about the user the name or something anything from the user and you expect the user to be able to input um key in his answer okay yeah there are a lot of ways to take data usually ideally what we do or what we've been doing for the past tutorial is we just assume values okay we say oh x equals to 10 y equals to or name name equals to what name equals to justin you know just assume the values and then we go on but this time assuming you don't want the values like you don't want any arbitrary values you want to get the right values from the user so what you do is you need to use a function called the input function okay that's a function called the input function i don't know if i've introduced it to you before but it's a function called the input function and see here they say prompt it's going to give a prompt okay and what do you want um python to prompt the user about let's say we want name okay so we'll say what's your name what's your name okay like this what's your name and i'm going to put um a space here so that there will be space for the user to input his name let's just run it and see how it goes See here it says what's your name now i can put my name as justin you see and so we have our name as justin the problem is we didn't store justin anywhere here so because we didn't store justin in, or whatever answer we'll get anywhere here we can't use it anymore you, you see so it's important to assign it to a value a function or um, a variable so i'm going to say name equals to whatever answer we get from this input so what happens is this input is going to try to ask the user a question get the answer and assign it to this name i think it makes sense right so let's do it again what's your name and i say justin oh justin. now i can say just print justin or or print name sorry so you can over here you can just say after the user has given you his name print the name okay let's, let's do it one more time what's your name okay kojo and it prints kojo for us i think it makes sense right you can always do a lot of things so you can say print kojo plus or you, you can you can put it this way print mr oh okay, okay. mr plus name okay and it's it's going to oh sorry and it's going to take the name of whatever you've given it and assign this mr to it okay so it's printing mr dash kojo i shall give a space here easy so that there will be space between the mr kojo and mr justin i know okay so it prints mr justin i think i think you are seeing how this works right so this is the input function and the input function um collects data from the user it gets data from the user especially when when you assign it to a variable like this it will assign whatever answer it has gotten into this variable now you realize that i said mr plus name and it was able to sum them up the reason is because this input function returns its answer in the form of a string okay if you notice up here the answer it gives us is a string right yes it gives us a string answer whatever answer you get from it is going to be a string answer and by string I, it means it has no uh, numerical value do you understand so your best way of doing things is you should know what kind of answers you are expecting from the user for instance in this one you know you are expecting a name and the name is going to be a string you don't need to do any calculation with it now assume you want to take his age okay assume you want to take his age and say age equals to input input how about your age your age and i'm going to put some dash here okay so how about your age and at the end of the day i want to print um okay so i'm going to put this one here i'm going to move this print function and after we've gotten the name and the age let's say we want to um after we've gotten the name and the age we want to use how do we what, what do we use this for let's say print print age plus name okay I think you get what I'm trying to say. So we want it to print. Oh, okay, I need to change it. Name plus age. Okay. Do you think this will work? Let's just let's just finish. Okay. For now, let's comment this out. Control and um, Control One to comment out. I'm just going to run the first one. Okay. So it asked us, "What's your name?" I'm going to say Kojo. How about your age? I say 78. All right. That part is working. Now we want to print this two. Okay. We want to print this two. Let's see. 
what's your name kojo how about your age 78 okay so it, it gives us kojo 78 now it's able to make these two work why because the answer is receiving is a string okay the answer is receiving is a string this age is not really a numerical age all right let's just say age times two okay or well, let's assume that we want to add two years to everybody's age okay and do it again kojo who is 78 years and say wow type error what's the type error he said that can only concatenate string not integer to string do you understand what's happening here he says it can't add two to the age okay because this age is a string it's not an integer i need to i need you to understand um the the things that causes the error in your programming so that you can easily debug them so that you can easily identify where the faults are and how to solve them okay now remember i told you that this one takes its answers as strings and now you are added you are trying to add an integer to the string and add it to age even if you had removed this one okay, even if you had removed this part it still wouldn't work because you are adding a string to you are trying to add a string to an integer you see if you try to add a string to an integer it can't work for instance you are trying to add a number called or a, um, a string called name name plus two imagine what value that would be it can't work i think i've made that one plain so what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to change this age okay into a, an integer so that this number can work with it okay remember we were learning data types and data type conversions okay in, in the previous video if not send it just check it out it's in the previous video okay so what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to change this age into a, an, into an integer so you can choose to do it both ways you can just say int int age okay like this you put the age into brackets and integer you see i, I don't know how to explain let me see you put the age let me try explain again you put the age into this integer function so that the integer function can convert this age which is a string into an integer does that make sense i, I hope it does okay so this age is a string okay it has no numerical value even though it's 78 it's basically a string so you put the this function there so that the function will change into a number and then you can do your addition okay i think that makes sense i, I should stop explaining these things because i think i'm over explaining them okay so let's run it again Kojo 78 see it, it may be able to add it may be able to add the two because you finally converted the 78 into an integer and then you added two to it so what am i trying to tell you i'm trying to tell you that whatever answer you get okay whatever input you get from the user is always a, a string now you can choose to change your string into whatever data type you want especially if you know what data type you're expecting you, you get it so if i were to do it here okay if i were to write a program like this and i knew that i'll be expecting age okay as part of my inputs or as part of the user inputs i would concatenate this so uh, let me just do that part again i should want the age okay i'm just going to say int input input then how about your your age okay then i give it a space all right then i'm going to say print age plus four oh let's just uh, let's subtract four from the age some people are fond of adding more years to their ages i don't know why okay so now we we're just running it again and then it's 80 this time and says no it's not 80 it's 76 it's not 76 it's because they are subtracted four from the age we've gotten okay i think it makes sense so automatically you can change your input you don't have to come and do it here because you might it means you would have to do it for every instance it occurs in so what you do is at the point where you're accepting your inputs you change the data type to whatever data type you, you want to work with okay so if you know that you're working with numbers and your input is a string you change your data type into into um into an integer okay or a float you can equally change this one to a float sorry so that we don't do numbers in floats and um, ages in floats all right let's do a, a simple program and then a simple program and then um and then you you see how else you can apply now i'm just going to let's see we want to take a list of um uh okay let's let's do an area calculation here so i'm just going to comment area of a triangle okay i think if i remember very well area of a triangle now what's the formula the area of a triangle or the formula for the area of a triangle is 0 0.5 times the length of the base times the length of the height right okay 0 0.5 times the base times the height so 0 0.5 times Base times height. Okay, it's saying oh, um, and define name B and H. Okay, so let's let's do it again. We want to calculate the area, right? 
and we know that we will be requiring first we'll have 0 0.5 as our formula 0 0.5 times base right times height now python is telling you oh, now python is telling you what do you mean by base and height okay it doesn't understand what base and height are now you'll come to define them here you say oh base is is a number all right base and number let's say 10 and height is also a number okay let's say 25 okay so now calculate this for me and at the end of the day print out what the area is it says oh okay if the base is 10 and the height is 25 and i'm going to do 0 0.5 times the height times the base then area will be 125 okay that's true now we use arbitrary values here if you want to use user input values you just change your answer into into um you just change your way of collecting your data okay so that the user can input his own answers so you can say base okay and then oh, okay so now because we know we'll be dealing with um calculation okay you know that this one will give you a strange answer so what you're going to do is you're going to straightforward change it into an integer or a float i prefer to use a float because this one i can do it i can do it um, i'm going to be dealing with um, calculation for floats so input and then base so give me your base here or oh, give me space here note if you don't change this one into a float and you give it and change it into an integer okay and the user inputs a number like 78.4 it's going to take away the point four uh let me just do, do that for you right now i'm going to do the same thing for this guy and input very soon you get it so very soon i'm going to stop explaining exactly what it is i'm doing because i think it, it, it might be boring okay so what you're saying is you get the base from the user get the height from the user and put it into this formula stare it up and give me an answer okay so now what's the base uh, also this again our base was 10 right and our height was 25 it says oh shoot your answer is 125 okay now let's let's try this now as you tell the computer that your base is um 10.689 okay and your okay good, 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 good. so now that's what it's telling you value error invalid literal for int now it's telling that it's supposed to take an integer not a float and you've given it a float do you understand it's important you need to consider this so generally i prefer to use floats for my computation unless i'm very sure that for instance I'm, I'm dealing with ages and i know that i don't want to deal with decimals in my age like oh i'm 70 i'm 74.345 years old nobody says that so you give it a float so that it would automatically change the value of the user into a float okay and then it can work with it all right so now let's do it again and i tell you that okay my base is 10.689 and my height is 25.333 so it gives you an answer you see that works fine yeah so that's that's a way you you can work with it and i i think by now you are figuring out how exactly how to deal with your errors okay how to deal with errors when you come across them okay so with this i think you you finally understand how the input function works and exactly how to store data and work with it okay so remember the important thing is the input function the data type conversion if necessary which usually it's necessary because it's always in, in a string form then assignment this is how you store the data okay you have to assign your input to something so that it can save it for you and then you can use it later on in your calculations or on whatever you want to do okay i'm sure in the next videos you'll be seeing some of these things a lot so in the next video we'll be talking about conditions and how how to use them